All right, welcome to Coffee with Marcus. This is episode 65, and today we're going to talk about the markets. We're going to talk about Tesla, which has gone crazy today. Is Tesla a buy or a sell? And then I'll tell you a binary option scam story. And uh, as always, we're doing it to do a deep dive into these topics. So does that sound good? If this is your first time here, welcome. Before we get started, let me give you a super quick intro why I'm doing the show. Because here's what I'm seeing. Most people who start trading expect their accounts to explode. They've seen the ads and emails that promise them to turn $2,000 into a million dollars or something crazy like this. And then they start trading and they quickly realize that it doesn't work this way. So if you're sick of all the hype and empty promises, then this show is for you because my goal is to give you the strategies and tools that you need to be successful. Because the last thing I want to see that you losing your hard earned money. Now, here's my promise to you. I will only show you strategies and tools that I personally use in my trading. Plus, keeping it real, I'll show you all of my trades, winning trades and losing trades. No hype, just the fact so that you have the right tools, strategies and mindset, because I want you to succeed. And if this sounds good to you, then click on like right now or type yes in the comments and we'll get started. <laughs> okay, awesome. So we're good to go. The first segment here is we're going to talk about what is happening in the market. Here is why I'm doing this segment. This segment is for you so that you know what's happening right now, what traders are focusing right now, and also what we can expect for the next few weeks. Now, Let's talk about the news from the weekend. Uh, let me share my screen here. So news from the weekend, coronavirus cases are still skyrocketing and in states like Florida, Texas, and Louisiana. But this morning, stocks opened higher. Let's take a look at this. Let's actually take a look at a five minute chart here and go to earlier this morning. Here we go. So as you can see, we opened higher after uh, some news that uh, Pfizer and BioNTech were granted fast track status by the FTA for, for their work on vaccines. And so this is where everybody thought, oh my gosh, okay, vaccines are coming out. We should be good. And markets started rallying. In fact, the NASDAQ, if you look at the NASDAQ here intraday, you see the NASDAQ topped 11,000 for the first time ever. And when it did this, it was up 26% for 2020, 26% for the year. Crazy with all this craziness going on. But then minutes ago, just before I went live, look at this. The markets are tanking all across the board. I mean, the Dow is tanking. The S&P is tanking. Uh, the Nasdaq is tanking. So why? What is happening here? Well, there are rising tensions between China and the United States over some offshore resources. Uh, so a few minutes ago, the U.S. Secretary of State, Mike uh, Pompeo, said that China's claim to offshore resources in the South China Sea are unlawful. And this is what we're seeing right now. Markets don't like rising tensions with China. Never have, never will. So let's talk about this week and what is going on. So what are traders focusing on? Well, with these news breaking just minutes before I went live here, of course, China, we want to know what's happening there, what is going on, because overall, the economic calendar, here you see it for the week, is pretty quiet. There's not a whole lot going on. So we don't have uh, much economic news that might move the markets here besides the, the core retail sales, as you can see, and the retail sales here. Now, however, the other thing that will move the markets this week are earnings. Earnings season is starting off, and here are just the, uh, the earnings over the past two days, as you can see. Delta, Citigroup, Wells Fargo, JP Morgan. Alcoa, IBM, Goldman Sachs, Bank of New York, United Health. You recognize many of these names. These are heavyweights that will be reporting uh, in the next two days, two to three days, as you can see. So today is uh, July 13th. So on the 14th, 15th, and 16th. This is what's happening. This is what's going on. And I mean, wow, this craziness. Let's see. I mean, we were nicely up for the day. I mean, we were up a percent. Look at the Nasdaq tanking right now. I mean, the Nasdaq was up really nice. As I said over eleven thousand, and now tanking. Wow, what a what what an effort here going into the close. Look at this long bar. See, markets have been quiet for a while, and this is where right now markets look for any excuse. And of course, 
Rising tensions are never good. All right, uh, but actually, let's uh, let's talk about Tesla because Tesla has gone absolutely crazy today. Today, uh, July thirteenth, Tesla was up eighteen percent for the day. Look at this, and uh, let me go to a five minute chart. This is where you see all the craziness. So this morning, Tesla was up 18% and uh, now it is down 16%. I mean, wow, <laughs> what is happening with Tesla here? So this is the key question that many people are asking me right now. Sh should I buy Tesla or should I sell it? So I thought, hey, I might give you my analysis. So let's take a look at, uh, at Tesla. I'm going to reset the chart. And as you can see, over the past few days, Tesla has been skyrocketing higher. So why, why is this? Well, because there is the possibility that Tesla will be included in the S&P 500. Thus far, Tesla has not been in one of the major indices for a very simple reason. Tesla never had four consecutive months with profits. And this is one of the prerequisites for being uh, included in the S&P 500. But now Tesla had three consecutive months with profits. And when they get a fourth quarter, they can be included in the S&P 500. And then some big hedge funds can pick up Hesla, uh, Tesla, <laughs> not Tesla, because here's how it works. You see, when you're a big hedge fund, you have to say what stocks you're trading. And if you're saying, I'm only trading stocks in the S&P 500, you can't buy Tesla. But we don't know whether they will be profitable for a fourth quarter or not. Earnings is coming out on July 22nd. So right now, it's all speculation. Well, I have a Tesla and I love my Tesla, but hey, let's trade what we see, not what we think. So let's uh, let's actually take a look at Tesla. And I want to uh, take a look at a weekly chart here, because when you look at the weekly chart, you see the full story. You see how Tesla over the past few weeks has just been skyrocketing. And you see, parabolic moves like this are not sustainable. Think about it this way. When Tesla surpassed 1,000 right here, when it uh, surpassed 1,000, it became the most valuable car company in the world. You see, this is where Tesla beats Toyota, which has been the most valuable car company. And this was at 1,000. And right now, Tesla is trading at 1,500, was trading at 1,700 earlier today. So right now, I want to show you this article. Tesla is worth more than General Motors, Ford, and Fiat Chrysler combined. Now, is this really making sense? Is Let's take a look at some charts here. So again, this is Tesla. Let's take a look at Ford. This is what Ford is doing. Not really a whole lot because right now during the pandemic, it's not that people are buying cars like crazy. Let's take a look at General Motors. General Motors also just hanging in there. Fiat Chrysler, um, what is it? Uh, Fiat, uh, let me just see. Fiat Chrysler, FCAU. There you go, also just hanging in there. So what makes, makes Tesla so special? Well, I said, it's all just spe speculation. And you see, traders have been betting against Tesla and they failed. Take a look at this. Tesla short sellers are down $18 billion this year, uh, including another $4 billion in July. But here's the deal. If you take a look at this, Tesla's short interest, the dollar value of all uh, shares sold short, recently hit $19.95 billion. So Tesla is the first stock in history with a $20 billion bet against them. So let's go back to Tesla and uh, let's take a look at the daily chart here and talk about, is it a buy or is it a sell? Well, <laughs> if you look at this, it's a crazy stock. That's for sure. See, option premiums are crazy high because the past seven days, this stock has been moving $100 per day on average, on average. So sometimes more, as we can see today, uh, let's go back to a five minute chart so that you see the craziness of today. So today, as you see, Tesla was trading at almost $1,800. It was trading at $1,795. And right now we are down to $1,525. So today 
uh, a move of almost $200. And from today's high to today's low, let me just show this to you. So from today's high to today's low, here we go. We have a 16% move. Yes, you could make a lot of money. And looking at these swings, you can also lose a lot of money. So here's my tip. Whenever you see a parabolic move like this, let me reset the chart here, right? Leave it alone. <laughs> Leave it alone because you can get burned and lose a lot of money. And I don't want that for you. So will Tesla go any higher? Possible. Will Tesla crash and burn if they do not announce a profitable quarter in the next few days? Then yes, Tesla might drop back down to twelve hundred or a thousand dollars. Hey, I uh, hope this helps. I just wanted to show you a quick Tesla analysis here. All right, let's take a let's uh, take a look at uh, the comments here because there are some some great comments. Yeah, uh, I mean Helena says it with with Tesla. Is it for quarters or for months? You need to have four profitable quarters, four profitable quarters to get included in the uh, in the S&P 500. Yeah, it is uh, it is crazy. Alvaro says uh, Tesla rocks and uh, Rogelio says, should I buy stocks at all? You see, this is where I personally like to use the PowerX optimizer to find stocks that are doing short term. And today I closed out two trades with a profit. So IMMR uh, was a profitable trade and also PAA was a profitable trade. So I closed out two trades with a profit, even though we have this craziness going on here right now. Um, and uh, Alex says it. Yeah, don't be greedy. And you see, this is what I see right now with Tesla. There's so many people interested in Tesla. And of course, when do most traders buy? When do most people buy when it made a top? Because you might have heard it. There were talks that Tesla might go to 2000. So people think, oh, if I buy it at, at 1500, I'll be good. And it goes up to 2000. I can make a lot of money. Listen, when you have a volatile stock like this, again, it can, you can make a lot of money, but you can also lose a lot of money. For me personally, it is more about systematic account growth. I want to sure, make sure that my account grows systematically and not have this this crazy moves where one day it is up thousands of dollars and the next day down thousands of dollars, right? I mean, this gives you a heart attack. For me, it's about predictable and consistent returns. And this is why I like to use the, the PowerX strategy, which you already know. Be happy to send you a free book. Link in the description. Um, only pay shipping and handling. You already know the drill if you have been watching me. If not, check out the link in the description and you'll see it. Anyhow. Before we look at uh, at more co comments here in a moment, I want to actually tell you a super funny story. Um, that, let me just show you this again. So again, today is uh, episode, what is it, 65 already. Can you believe it? So we, we just looked, uh, looked what's happening in the market. We talked about my Tesla analysis, and now I want to tell you a funny story about a binary option scam. Are you ready for this? Does this sound good? <laughs> then let's get started because you are going to love it. So I just want to switch the screen to something and uh, then we'll get started. Hold on. Let me just change it around here. Okay. So let's talk about the binary option scam. Today I'm going to reveal a very popular binary option scam so that you don't fall for it. So let me tell you what this is all about. You, you might have seen those comments on YouTube videos where, where somebody says that they started investing with a person. In this case, it is Anthony Win uh, Vincent. And then they started making a lot of money. Here's an example. So this is what happens uh, underneath my videos. You see in this uh, example, Diddy says, excellent video here. But I started being successful in stock trading ever since I invested with Mr. Anthony Vincent's platform. The strategy has really profited me handsomely since he was recommended to me here on YouTube. So in, in this example, the trader is promoting Mr. Anthony Vincent, but the name doesn't really matter. As you will see in just a few moments, uh, they're, they're changing the uh, name quite frequently. Now, 
I must admit that this scam is pretty elaborate because here's what happens after somebody posts the first comment. Immediately, you'll see replies flying in from other viewers telling you that they use the same guy and how he changed the life. So t take a look at this. Uh, let me just bring up here the second comment. See, right underneath it, Thompson Andrew says, uh, wow, it's so amazing to see another investor of Mr. Vincent. Uh, one fascinating fact I love about him is consistency in generating huge profits in a short time according to your plan. And then another guy jumps in, M M Michael Garcia, how do I contact this broker? I am on the losing side. So as you can see, they're all different names, but all of these comments come in at the same time. Look at this. It, it, it's here uh, right now, 10.08. 10.08, as you can see. So uh, let me just show you another one. Because this is where you might be fooled into believing that, oh, it must be the real deal. Because Lisa right now is saying, I must say I'm so impressed with the services since Mr. Anthony delivers value price trades and useful analytical tools and a well-designed software trading platform. I don't even think that Lisa knows what she's talking about here. And then Diddy says, oh, Michael Garcia, here's how you can contact him at official Vincent Anthony. Uh, so here is uh, another email. Brian, you see, 1011, all within minutes they are flying in. So I, I believe it's uh, the, the same person here. So Brian says, Mr. Anthony is very legit. I hope that he can read it here on the screen. And uh, Emma says, whoa, you guys also trade with Mr. Anthony. This is so unbelievable. Um, let me just, uh, do Do I have one more screenshot? Yeah, I mean, they, they just keep flying in. You get the idea. Now, think about it this way. If somebody had a few losses, and now he's seeing all of these great testimonials, can you see how somebody might be inclined to, to contact the guy? Well, that's what I did for you. So, I created a fake email address because this guy is anyhow fake and sent Mr. Anthony an email. Let me show you my email to Mr. Anthony. So now I'm Joe. <laughs> Can you help me become a successful trader? Hi, I got your name and email from a YouTube comment. It seems that you're helping a lot of people to become successful traders. Again, this is me, okay? I'm Joe right now. I'm saying, I've been trading for two years now and I'm struggling to make money with trading. Can you help me like you helped all the other traders that are talking about you? Hope to hear from you soon. Please help me. I need to make money. Now, here's the cool thing. 25 minutes later, I got a response. Here's the response from Anthony Vincent. What do you know? He's responding to me right away. Hello, Joe. I will be happy to assist you. I am sorry for your losses. Basically, we gotta start somewhere. Well, whenever you see we gotta start somewhere, you know that you're in good hands. At least I knew that I was in good hands. So should we proceed? Where are you from? Can we schedule a call if you're in the US? And I said, absolutely. Yeah. So I responded to him and said, oh my God, thank you so much for the quick response. Today is a busy day for me because it was a day where I did coffee with Marcus. Can we talk tomorrow, July 3rd? I live in Texas anytime between 10 a.m. and 12 p.m. Would be good for me. What is your phone number? And he says, this mine. Again, with this perfect grammar, I knew that I was in good hands. So I made up a little story and I called him. And I'm going to play you the clip right now of what happened when I called him. Here we go. All right, let's call Mr. Anthony Vincent. Let's see what happens. You have reached the voicemail of Mr. Conrad Parker. I'm able to reach my phone right now. Please leave a message and I'll get back to you. Yeah, this is Joe. Um, is this Anthony Vincent? Because we exchanged a few emails and uh, you said that you can help me trading binary options and finally making some money with trading because I already lost a lot. So if this is Anthony Vincent, I hope that I had the right number. Please call me back. I think you see my number in the display. It's, uh, well, you'll see it and I'll talk to you very soon. <laughs> okay, uh, thanks for your time. Well, 
So interestingly enough, apparently he's he's not Anthony Vincent, but uh, uh, we we already knew this, right? Anyhow, so he called me back a few minutes later, and I recorded the call. You want to see it? Here it is. Hello. Hello, this is Joe. Hello, Joe. How are you doing? Good. Is this Anthony? Yeah, this is Mr. Anthony. Mr. Anthony, no right. Yeah, Mr. Anthony, we, we have somehow an echo. Yeah, Mr. Anthony, we, we have somehow an echo. Oh, I'm so sorry. So sorry, I put it on the on loudspeaker because I'm walking and i um kind of a little bit dizzy in my hands right now. Oh, oh, okay. Do you want to connect later this afternoon? Hello? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, yeah, let's connect later this afternoon. I'm going to call, I'm going to text you before I call you. Oh, that's great. I'm less busy. I just got to work. Perfect, yes. Okay, okay. Just text me. Take uh, care of yourself. Okay, thank you. And come back to you on camera. So, uh, I, I mean, as you can see, it wasn't easy to get him on the phone. And uh, he seems to be quite swamped with work. So let, let me just show you what happened next. So uh, after the calls, I basically said, uh, well, I tried to call you, but I only got a voicemail. So we played phone tech for a little bit. And then he said, well, I'm so swamped with a lot of work right now. And so, okay, I thought this is here not easy so uh we, we played phone tag for a while and this is why after a while i decided to just uh move the communication to email and so i sent him an email and said anthony it seems that we are better communicating by email than playing phone tag so let's stick to email i've been in touch with a few other people who might be able to help me make money with trading here is my situation again if you're just tuning in this is me joe hicks i pretend to be Joe, right? Um, so I've lost more than $15,000 trying to trade stocks and options. I've only $10,000 left. Recently lost my job due to a COVID situation. How can you help me? Blah, blah, blah. How does it work? So let me know because I want to make a decision by the end of the week. Now, here, this is where it gets really, really good. So I'm now getting the following email from him. So Anthony says, um, oops, wait, uh, I didn't want to drop it here. I want to drop it over there. Makes it a bit easier. Okay. Yes, I will be trading under my brokerage. Right now, the signal strength is 95% and it gives 5% profit. So here is how it works. So he says 5% of $10,000 is $500. Okay, I, I'm still following you. 500 times seven days in a week is $3,500 daily. Okay, I, I'm lost. If you get seven days a week, okay, anyhow, 3,500 times three times a day is 10,500, and that's a, a daily trade. So uh, what, what? I, I'm thoroughly confused by this math, but no worries. Mr. Anthony is helping those like me who are weak with math and uh, here is, if you let like, take a look at the email, where, where he clarifies it for me and says, okay, so long story short, your profit is uh, in a week is $10,500, starting with the signal of today. Oh my gosh, I want to invest $10,000 and I'm making $10,500? Anyhow, so the, the math is all over the place, but, but basically he says, don't worry about it. You'll make a shit ton of money. <laughs> okay, so uh, here is the end of the email, as you can see here, kindly provide the following information which is needed to set up your trading account. Now, as you know, when somebody says kindly provide, you know that you're in good hands because that is the exact language that brokers and money managers are using. Just kidding, of course not. Anyhow, I am super excited about making $10,500 a week. Aren't you, aren't you? So. I put together a little Excel sheet because I, I want to see what is happening. Here's my little Excel sheet that I put together. So the initial capital is $10,000, as you can see. And uh, the weekly gain, as Mr. Anthony said, will be 
$10,500. That's 105%. And based on Mr. Anthony's email, the win seems to be compounding, which means that the next week I can invest $20,500, make 105% again, which is now $21,525. This is pretty good, don't you think? So let's say what happens by the end of week two. So I uh, entered a little formula here and wanted to see, <gasps> oops, let me just uh, show you what my little formula did. There we go. Oh my gosh, I am now making $44,000. Let's see what happens next week, shall we? Okay, now I'm making $90,000. Holy moly. Okay, let's keep going here. Let's keep going and then we'll go back to, to Mr. Anthony. At the end of seven weeks, I am a millionaire in seven weeks. Isn't that super exciting? But wait, but wait, 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 wait. There's more. Uh, let's just uh, expand this a few more rows right here. Look at this. After 10 weeks, I'm making more than $10 million. Wait, that can't be right, can it? I, I mean, there, there, there must be a problem. Well, you know what? Let's ask. Mr. Anthony. So I'm sending an email back, but before we do this and I show you the email and what happens next, let me ask you this. Um, are, are you enjoying this video thus far? D do you want to know what happens next? Because if so, hit the like button right now. Do me a favor. Hit the like button if you want to know what happens next, if you're enjoying this. Okay, so let's go back. So here is my email to Mr. Anthony because I wanted to make sure that I, I, I got my math right here. So I'm sending him another email and say, hey, thanks so much for the information. Let me show I know, understand it correctly. It's an easy four-step process, right? So I'm opening a trading account with you, I'm funding the account with $10,000. You trade the account for me. I can expect to uh, expect to make $10,500 per week based on an initial investment of $10,000. So let me ask you this. If I do leave the money in the account, would you then trade the $10,000 to 10,500 in the next week. If so, how much money can I expect in the second week? And so I also wanted to know, is it possible to withdraw money here? So, <laughs> okay. Anyhow, because uh, I, I wanna make $10 million. And uh, so Mr. Anthony is responding to me and uh, basically says, let me see. Yes, you got it. So I know it, nothing wrong with my math. Oh my God. I will make $10 million in 10 weeks. But, 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 but wait, 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 wait a minute. How can I be sure that this is not a scam? Well, let's ask Mr. Anthony again, shall we? So I'm asking Mr. Anthony and I say, ah, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Thank you so much for clarifying. That sounds like a great opportunity, very exciting, but I'm also a little bit skeptical. This sounds almost too good to be true, doesn't it? So. How do I know that you really achieve these results? I know that trading is not easy. After all, I lost $15,000. So ask him, do you provide any guarantees? And of course, Mr. Anthony can provide proof and uh, make sure that uh, all my doubts are raised. So he sends me another email. This is a view of a trade platform where the profit is written in yellow. The total invested is uh, $2,000, and as you can see, there is my $10,705. Now, this is where I have to say, okay, um, honestly, Mr. There we go. Mr. Anthony, thank you providing proof that works. This is undeniable proof. You are the real deal. Now I know that I can make millions with you. I am in. So I'm sending him my information. Of course, this is completely fake name, address, and date of birth. Only my phone number is real because I want to make sure that he's calling me back, that I can record it for you. Are, are you having fun with this? There's a few more emails because this, this, <laughs> it's really, really, really good. Okay, so just wait for it. So um, do you need anything else? Will I get log information to the account and trading platform after opening the account? As you would with every good broker. Well, uh, let me just make sure that I'm having the right email here right now. There we go. Now we're getting to the good stuff. Of course, he says, once the account is open, it will be linked to my admin account for trading purposes and you will have access to the account 
uh, we'll be opening account for you right away. Do you have a Bitcoin wallet? Because we make our payments in Bitcoin. Of course, of course he's using Bitcoin since it's untraceable. And once he has the number, I'll never get it back. Well, Mr. Anthony, I don't want to make it too easy for you. No, no, no. So here is my response to this email. Well, Anthony, I don't have a Bitcoin wallet, whatever that is, and I don't want to have one. Let's just do a check or wire transfer. That's what my current broker does. Just send me the login information and the wire instructions or the e address to mail a check to. Well, as you can imagine, now uh, Mr. Anthony loses, uh, loses interest with me. So I haven't heard back from him. Uh, he said, well, we'll be getting you the information, but I, I, I doubt that I ever will. So as you can see, after 23 emails and several calls, this is where it all ends. Since Mr. Anthony will never give me an address to send a check to or a wire transfer because that will give me a way to get my money back and expose this scam. And I'm pretty sure that this guy is not even in the United States. A anyhow. I did this video for you so that you know what's behind these scams and that you don't fall for them. And please, can you do me a favor? Share this video with as many people as you can so that these scammers don't have a, a chance. You will see comments underneath plenty of YouTube videos, probably my YouTube video here right now with all sorts of different names. And it's always the same. These scammers try to take advantage of traders who lost money. These traders who are desperate and these scammers will take the last money away from these traders. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you like it. And if you want to see more videos like this, then click on the subscribe button and click the little bell because this way you get notified whenever I release a video. And please remember to share this video uh, so that many people learn about the scam and don't fall for them. And I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> okay. Anyhow, what do you think? Wasn't that fun to mess around with him a little bit? And uh, so, of course, now I will never hear from him again. It just, uh, it's its unbelievable. It's unbelievable. And uh, Eeyore says it, yeah, unbelievable. So sad to think investors will fall for this. Unfortunately, some investors do, right? Uh, because um, think about it this way. Why do we all trade? We want to make money. And then when it, this is what I said in the intro to this uh, live show, when it doesn't work this way, when we don't make money instantly, when we have a tough time, what happens to us as traders? We're doubting ourselves, we're doubting our strategy, and we are getting susceptible to these kind of scams. So please don't do this. If you have a strategy, there will be times when the strategy is outperforming it. There will be times when the strategy is underperforming it. You know that I've been trading my account or one of my accounts publicly with you here, showing you exactly how I'm doing. And the past few weeks haven't been easy. Not at all. We know this, right? So don't fall for these scammers. There is no get rich quick. I mean, if it is, you have seen it. It's, <laughs> I mean, it's so crazy. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. So yeah, Benito says, uh, my son likes, uh, scamming scammers uh, that call our home. He has as much fun as I have. Yeah, absolutely. So um, love this. Uh, Helena says, uh, can you beat the record? 105% in a week sounds great. And he says, he does it consistently. I mean, his strategy has a 95% winning percentage. And you see, Hanela and everybody who's watching it, that's what we want as traders. I mean, he's playing into what we want, right? We want weekly payouts. We want guarantees. We want to be able to grow our account because you hear these stories. I got an email this morning where somebody says, here's how I took my account from $5,000 to 3000 to 3 million, to 3 million in a matter of what, a few weeks? Can't remember the, the email that I received there. It's ridiculous. But, but Everybody receives the email and this is the dream that many have as a traders and they don't understand that losses are part of the business. And for me, I, I told you earlier, for me, it's more about being systematic, creating predictable returns and creating uh, consistent returns. That's uh, that's the important thing for me. And uh, yeah, Paula says, 
crazy people. That's for sure. That's for sure. All right. Um, <laughs> so good to see everybody here. Um, yeah, uh, Peter says it. We want someone to to make us look good, right? I mean, <laughs> we want to do this. Anyhow, um, so Andreas is asking, taking some trades with stock earnings this week, earnings season. I'm, I'm looking into this, um, but markets are so crazy. Let's see where the markets ended. I'm actually curious here uh, because I want to see what happened going into the close, if we actually bounce back a little bit or if, uh, no, we finished at session lows. Look at this. This is the five-minute chart of the S&P 500. This is the five-minute chart of the Dow. Markets just closed six minutes ago. Uh, so we closed at session lows. We will see. I mean, uh, yeah, the, the futures markets will open again shortly, and then we'll see if this, uh, this sell-off follows through. Let's see what happens here with China, with everything that is going on here. Crazy, crazy. Now, Paula says, um, who believes these things? You would be surprised. You would be surprised. At some point, think about it. Uh, the story that I pretended here, um, where, where I said, you know what? I have lost $15,000. I lost my job because of COVID and all the corona craziness. And I'm down to my last ten thousand dollars. I mean, at some point, people get desperate, don't they? And uh, this is uh, what I believe happens here to some of these people. All right. So, Alirisa said, "Thing, what do you think about options? Uh, Tesla options trading? I, I think that right now, let me just uh, make you a little bit bigger here. There we go. I think right now it's crazy. I mean, what, what do you want to do? So let's think about it. Let's go back to, to Tesla here because I talked about it in the beginning. So the implied volatility of Tesla is through the roof right now. Why? Because look at this. I mean, today we, we moved more than $200 in a single day. So this means that options are super expensive. So you never want to buy options when they're super expensive, right? On the other hand, you also don't want to sell options because you get you can get caught on the wrong side. Uh, so we, we talked about it. Where do I have this article, right? Tesla short sellers who thought Tesla can't go any higher lost already $18 billion this year. So, uh, I mean, to, to answer your question, I would stay away from Tesla. It's crazy. Yes, you can make a lot of money and you can lose a lot of money. Ali Reza, does this make sense? I mean, even options, don't buy options when they're expensive. And don't sell options. I mean, especially put options, right? If you could get assigned the stock. And Tesla is a very expensive stock. Think about it this way. Let me just write this down here. When you're trading one option on Tesla, it means that you're controlling 100 shares of Tesla. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so that's easier for you to see. Okay, so let me move out of this out of the way. So if you're controlling oops, 100 shares, so this means that you would have to buy or sell 100 shares, maybe at around $1,500. Now, let me bring up my, my calculator here to make sure that I'm not making a mistake, but uh, $1,500 times 100 shares is $150,000. So when you're selling options, you might get caught on the wrong side and suddenly need to have $150,000 in your account if you're getting assigned or exercised, right? So be super, super, super careful here. I know that it is super tempting, right? Uh, but you also want to make sure this is why I'm doing the show, because I want to help you to make money trading and not lose it, right? So great questions here. Um, so let's see. What other? Helena says, so great hearing someone tells it really like it is. I mean, I, I wish I could tell you that uh, you'll have a 95% winning percentage and you'll double your money every week. It doesn't work this way. It really doesn't work this way. I'm wondering why this doesn't stay over there where I made it a little bit bigger. Anyhow, we'll be good. Okay. Um, so let's see, uh, Ricardo says, I'll give him 30 years in prison because they are playing with desperate people. That's what the dangerous thing is. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, so Caleb says, uh, maybe today is just another tracement like always. Uh, so we're going back to Tesla. Well, uh, think about this. So when Tesla had the, the last time a parabolic move, see this here? This was in January when it had the parabolic move. 
And then we had this. Let me make this a little bit bigger so that you can see it. Then we had this going down. So, and then we moved up, but then was this really just a retracement? This is when it went all the way down, as you know, from 950, we went all the way down from 950 to 350. So, I mean, Caleb, it could be another retracement, but it could also be that now everybody realized, oh my God, Tesla, the most valuable car company in the world delivering, I don't know, how many 10,000s of vehicles? I doubt it. I, I mean, fundamentally, it's not justified. And some people might realize, oh my God, it's not. And uh, we could crash and burn right now. It's absolutely possible to go from 1800, where we were earlier, down to 1200 or maybe even 1000. That is possible here. So, I mean, I, I, I'm staying away from it. And I'm really, really good at trading. And I know when, when not to trade a stock. This, oops, this here is a perfect example of when not to trade a stock. Anyhow, good questions, good questions. All right. Good. And uh, Alberto says, yeah, there are a lot of false uh, Facebook accounts of famous traders that pretend to trade for you and, of course, steal your money. Yeah, I mean, it happened to me. Uh, I constantly, if, if somebody hits you up on Facebook Messenger or on Instagram or on WhatsApp, it's not me. Uh, I have actually a video for you. Uh, where I say someone is pretending to be a scammer. We'll post a link in the description or in the chat here. So I made a video for you so that you know. I will send you emails. And uh, if you have given me your cell phone number, I will send you text messages. I will never trade money for you. I believe in educating you, in showing you how to trade so that you can trade your money. I never, ever want to have access to your account. If somebody says, give me your login information, I'm Marcus Heidkotter. No, nobody from my team will ever ask you for login information to your brokerage account. So this it doesn't work this way. I'm not managing money for you. So anyhow, anyhow. Uh, so Ali Reza says, I mean, selling options like a vertical put. <sighs> Trust me, with selling options, you can get burned. I recently did a video. Um, what was it? On this uh, poor fella. What was it? Kearns? What was his first name? Andrew Kearns? Not quite sure. The Robin Hood trader who did exactly what you're saying. Vertical puts, selling options, and uh, got caught on the wrong side of the market because of a huge misunderstanding. He thought that he was almost a million dollar in debt and uh, decided to take it live. Very tragically. Watch this video so that you understand the risks of what you're suggesting here. Uh, I have it here on the channel. We will post it in the description or also in the in the chat box here. Uh, it's very tragic. He he thought that he lost seven hundred thirty thousand dollars. So be be careful with this one. All right. So um, the web is filled with this crook. So I found you, Marcus, by checking reviews um, on these miracle workers. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for being the way you are. You're, you're welcome. I actually had fun with this, and uh, I love doing these videos here for you. It's uh, it's fantastic. I, I, I enjoy you being here. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And uh, I really love hanging out with you. So Zina's asking, can you please talk about how your personal trading is going at the moment? I, I think I talked about it last week, right? I mean, it, it's sideways. It's sideways. I, I, I think I'm down 5% uh, over the past four to six weeks, something like this. I would have to look it up. It's uh, it's not more than 10%. So I'm slightly down because the last few weeks have been tricky. But right now I'm positioning myself in the market for the next big move. Big move. You see, um, somebody famous sa said, you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. So I'll keep trading. Markets will move again. Markets have been tricky. They have been going sideways. Let's take a look at this. Uh, let's actually take a look at the S&P 500. Or the Dow, doesn't really matter. So as you can see, this here, zooming out a little bit, this here is since June 5th. So since June 5th, for more than a month, the market has just been moving sideways. Today, when it looked like the market would finally break out to the upside, it pulled all the way down, right back into this congestion. Now, based on my experience, these sideways markets usually don't last much more than 20 trading days. And right now we are right there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 
21, 22, 23. So I believe that the markets are poised to break out to the upside or the downside. I don't know that. But personally, I have calls, I have puts, I have long positions, I have short positions. And uh, this sucked. This here, as you know, I mean, I've shared my account statements here publicly. Uh, this here has been great to trade. And this is the natural state of a market. The natural state of a market is a trending market. Markets do not like to be boxed in as they are right now. So it will get better. So the past four to six weeks have been challenging. My winning percentage, which is usually between 40 and 50%, my personal winning percentage dropped to 22%. Uh, because I had more losing trades, but I keep my losses small. This is why overall the account is just slightly down. I mean, pretty much all of my accounts. There's a few of my accounts, the binary options account and the one where I'm trading SPX spreads that is actually up. Um, the the one where I'm trading the PowerX strategy is slightly down over the past few weeks, but it'll change. It'll change. It has been a fantastic year thus far. And just because I'm having a few tough weeks, I'm not doubting the strategy at all. So um, Eagle Eye, Eagle Eye has an Eagle Eye and says, I see an ADR, which is new in the chart. What is it for? Eagle Eye, you are true to your name. You see the ADR right here. It's the average daily range. Uh, that's what we use to calculate our profit target and stop loss. If you do have the Parex Optimizer, all of this is done automatically by, uh, for you. So whatever stock you have, it calculates automatically uh, the the best. Uh, where do we have it here? CQ, uh, CEQP. That's a stock that I'm in. Uh, it's showing you the best uh, profit target, the stop loss. So when to take profits, where to place your stop loss, how many to calculate, how many shares to trade, and we are doing this calculation based on the ADR. So I'm also using the ADR uh, just to go back here for trading the SPX strategy. Uh, that's a strategy that's right now exclusive for our mastermind members. This is where we are selling opt or we are trading option spreads. I should say this, we are trading option spreads that expire within a day. So super fun to trade. Uh, that's what we're currently doing. And that's why I need the ADL for. I'll probably uh, hide it again because these indicators are more important. Anyhow. Anyhow, good. So good to see everybody here. So Eagle Eye, hope that helps. <sighs> Time is flying when you're having fun, right? Uh, we'll be back here on Wednesday, 3.30 Eastern Time, 30 minutes before the markets close to talk more about these crazy markets, talk more about option trading strategies, about stock trading strategies, about what I'm personally doing. I'll be happy to show you the results over the past few weeks in uh, Wednesday's session. So as you know, I'm keeping not only a trading log, but also a testing log. So I can tell you at any given time what my winning percentage is, what my average winning trade is, my average losing trade, and all the good stuff. And I'll be happy to show this to you on Wednesday. So make sure that you share this video today because I think what I shared from uh, Mr. Anthony Vincent is important. Um, if you, this is your first time here and you enjoyed it, consider subscribing to the channel and hit the little notification bell. This way you get notified whenever I release a new video or when I go live like this. All right, have a great rest of your day and I'll talk to you very soon. Take care.